does a shortage of foster families mean for children in Bucks County? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Bucks County Commissioner Diane Ellis Marsiglia. Thanks so much for being with Thank us, you Commissioner. Thank you for having me today. It's very traumatic for a child who is entering the foster care system to be removed from that original family, their family. What are some of the challenges that you've seen, not only as a commissioner, but as a social worker yourself, in removing a child from a situation? Sure. And, and I have seen it as a social worker and then heard about it from families, both foster families and original families of children since I've been a commissioner. It's traumatic to leave your family. We can all imagine what that's like. For a child, it's sixfold because you're leaving your neighbors, your relatives, perhaps a church, community activities, a beloved teacher, friends at school, the school environment. So that trauma is compounded. So there's two things we want to do, and the first is to try not to let that happen, to try not to remove children. But when we have to, to do everything we can to keep them in that same environment, even if they are leaving their family, they're still at their school, still with family members. And that's one of the challenges, because a shortage of fa uh, foster families in Bucks County means that kids are actually having to leave the area to go into a different setting or into a foster family outside of the area. Right, and it's a big county, so sometimes it might be a foster family that's in Bucks County, but if the child lives in Bristol and the foster families in Quakertown well we know how far apart that is and then that makes visitations difficult because if you're that far apart even if you meet in the middle we all know traffic in Bucks County even if, if it's here you're a minimum of an hour each way that's exhausting for a child limits the amount of visits you can have towards reunifying the family so what can actually be done in order to increase the number of foster families and help children stay in their own homes right well, the first thing is I think we have to accept that there will probably always be some need for foster care. So what we want to do is encourage that to happen within that child's community. So we'd like to encourage people in Bucks County to step up to the plate, to give children and youth a call and volunteer to be a foster parent. One of the other options is to encourage kin of children, their aunts, uncles, to step up and be willing to be foster care parents. One of the things that we can do in that is perhaps provide some reimbursement to that kinship and actually increase the reimbursement we give right now to Bucks County families. I think that's one of the reasons families outside of Bucks County have been easier to, to uh, recruit because their cost of living is less than it is, has been in Bucks County. So those are some of the challenges that you're facing, but I know you've seen this as a social worker. The process of actually removing a child from the home and then trying to reunite a family can often take a long time and requires a lot of paperwork and court time. Is work underway to try and expedite this process so that kids and families can, can make those relationships work? I'm hoping that it is. We did have a hearing here last week and we spoke about those long delays in court, that 30-day delay in court is a great deal of time, maybe a year in the mind of a four-year-old, to talking about how if you do have to remove a child, hopefully having someone take a look at the psychosocial tasks that are being presented at that time in the child's life so you move you know, more, more gently when you have to remove a child. But most importantly, we need to get into the homes with services. In the long run, that's really cheaper. And getting families the actual services they need to help them learn the skills within their home with their children there. Um, one we talked about was family group decision making, something that our workers at Children and Youth are really becoming experts at. That sitting down, having a family meeting with everyone in that child's life, teachers, ministers, neighbors, relatives, and seeing how everyone can step up to the plate and support that family and that child. Obviously, the, the child's best interest is the goal. But we're talking about potentially finding increases in funding for things like reimbursement for families or additional services. Is that a concern moving forward in this foster care process? I think money is always a concern. It's po I mean, frankly, if you do in-home services in the long term, it will be cheaper. And keeping families together and making healthier children, we all know that's going to be cheaper for our society in the long run. One of the reasons I want to talk about it is I know the people of Bucks County are giving. I know they'll step up. Last year, they approved a huge amount of money for open Open space. If they knew that there was a children in trouble and they needed to step up on that, I think they will then too. We just have a few seconds left, but the idea of an ob ombudsman appeals to you. Absolutely. We've tried to get that into the budget last year. I know Representative Petrie is trying to do it on state level. So in those very rare cases where maybe inaccurate information is in a file and a child could be removed, that we, they family can step in and talk to another. Well, thank you so much. Well, Come back and give us an update. Me. I will. Thank you. We've been talking with Commissioner Diane Ellis Marsiglia. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.